friend Jimmy, who works at DC Shoes, hit me up about a month ago and said, hey, would you be interested in a pair of shoes that's made out of recycled coffee? And I said, I don't know what you're talking about, but send over a couple pairs, I wanna check them out. And these are those shoes. So let's talk about the shoe first, and then we'll talk about the coffee fabric that it's made out of. So the shoe is called the manual. There are several different versions of it. Some of them are made out of suede. Some of them are made out of different types of canvas. And this one is made out of the coffee fabric. Silhouette of the shoe is very, very classic. Vulcanized sole, simple, clean silhouette. It's kind of got that daily driver feel to it. It's not something that people would look at and be like, oh, but it's something that you could wear every day with all kinds of outfits and it would look clean no matter what. Outsole's got a classic herringbone pattern and DC's iconic pill pattern in the middle. If you know skate shoes, you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say pill pattern. It's got a removable sock liner. It's an ortholite insole with some other squishy stuff on the bottom. Nothing too crazy. These sell for 50 bucks, so it's not a terribly expensive shoe either. It's a shoe, it's a nice looking shoe. Escafé manufactures textiles and fabrics out of upcycled ground coffee. If you're making espresso, you knock out a puck. If you brew a batch of coffee, we have a special bin that it goes in. Probably put these in a shot somewhere, right? You ever start to film a video and realize you've had the lens cap in the frame? Game on, player. And they blend that with upcycled PET to create this yarn or fiber that can be woven together to create a textile. Now I'm not a sustainability guru. Obviously there's levels to this stuff. A couple years ago, Sprudge did an article about S Cafe specifically and about the coffee fiber, the coffee textile. I recommend reading that Sprudge article. They did a good job of talking about the sustainability portion of it and some of the challenges that come with producing these upcycled fabrics. I'll put a link to that article in the description below. Is it a shoe you'd want to skate in? Yeah, you could skate in it. I think it's more of a where to school, where to work kind of shoe, but I did a few tricks in it. I hadn't skated a vulcanized shoe for years. I haven't skated a shoe this slim for years. Let me show you what I skate. I haven't skated these yet, but this is more like what I normally skate. These huge cut sole, late 90s, early 2000s jams. So this felt really different, but at the end of the session, I kind of liked it. And I've actually for the past couple weeks been skating in vulcanized skate shoes. When I started down this coffee career path, I shelved everything. I didn't do anything else except for coffee. I neglected some of the things that really made my heart sing and the biggest one being skateboarding. So as I'm making skateboarding a bigger and bigger part of my life and just putting it out there, I'm meeting a bunch of people who are just juiced on coffee and skateboarding at the same time and it feels like I'm finding this cool little niche of people that I ultra relate to and to just find homies that you relate to is really rare. So when I find that, I try to not take it for granted and I'm super thankful and that's what our whole business is built off to inspire connection by creating memorable experiences. And is that DC's intent? Probably not, but it happened and for that, I'm super grateful. So Jimmy, thanks for the shoes. Obviously I didn't pay for these, okay? These are free, come on. Get real with it, bro. Get some shoes made of coffee. I don't know what you want. Stay down, y'all. Peace.